hello guys um, welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to do the part analysis and I will model the part as a value element but before we go into that I would like to thank you guys for your support and if you're new here please keep watching this video until the end if you like this video please uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss uh, the new video every week and if you want to support me uh, more you can uh, check my patreon.com page uh, I will post or, or upload the design file any uh, document related to the video that I upload every week so be sure to check it out I leave the link the, in the description of this video so now uh, back to our projects so now we have uh, set the boundary of the soy so next uh, we need to define the borehole property And then uh, we need to assign the material so the first material is the soy to simplify this um, projects I only use one type of uh, soy it means that uh, we uh, only need one layer of the soy Okay, next I will create the pile uh, property because we model uh, we model the pile as a volume element, so we need to define the pile uh, in this uh, window, and we use uh, linear elastic. Okay, for the next material is uh, plate. This is for the footing or power cap. Okay, now I will assign this as clay. So next I will uh, model the structure okay, so first I'm going to create um, the poly curve so our pile diameter is uh, one uh, one meter so I'm going to change this to 0 0.5 so we have uh, the poly curve like this I will change the origin of this uh, curve, curve uh, poly curve and then uh, we copy this our foundation is a, a four pile uh, foundation so I'm going to copy this in uh, sorry in eight direction And then uh, we copy this in y direction sorry I need to select this again okay so now uh, we need to create the surface inside this poly curve so Next, um, we need to extrude uh, the surfaces. So this is our path. 
we don't have to assign the material yet we can uh, assign it in the state construction now we copy this uh, surfaces to the bottom of the part because um, we need to create the interfaces okay now we have the surfaces so we can delete these surfaces next I will is through these polycodes because I want to create a surface around the path so that uh, we can uh, create the uh, interfaces also so now we need to select the face uh, the surfaces and create the negative interfaces so it become like this now you can uh, delete these polycodes okay next uh, we need to model the um, the power cap or footing so I will create a surface element and create plate now we can assign this material so this is our footing we also need to um, create the interfaces so this should be okay this is not right this, uh, also the negative interface so we got our uh, interface for the footing next uh, we need to define uh, load so I will put the load here at the center of the uh, foundation and I will change the value here let's say a uh, minus 5 thousand kilonewton and you can also add another load as well but uh, for this video I will only use uh, one load here now our model is complete you can uh, proceed to mesh Okay, now it's done we can view the result of the mesh okay so this is our mesh next I will pro uh, proceed to state construction so the initial pace Point load plate and interfaces is not sorry are not uh, activated so now we create the first pace and for the first pace we need to activate the power interfaces and uh, also the power cap or footing so I need to hide this in order to uh, make it easy to view so this is paste one I will select the pile here and change the material to pile and then uh, I activate the interfaces 
and plates so we got our foundation like this now for the next paste paste number two we activate the point loads so everything now is uh, complete now I will add the inter uh, the investigated point at the bottom of a path so we just search for the closest point so this is the point that I, I want to show the result or I, I want to investigate now click update okay so we need uh, we can design now sorry I mean uh, we can run the analysis now okay now we have done the analysis so we can view the result okay so uh, you can show the deform mesh so this is the deform mesh of the uh, foundation you can also show the total displacement So for the the next uh, result that I want to show you is the uh, internal force of the path. So all we need to do is just go to tools and structural forces in volume paths and click on path here and detect. Now everything is done and can view the result. So this is the actual forces of the path. You can uh, uh, check the value here. And you can also show uh, shear force. And this is for the other direction. And also the moment uh, the bending moment in the path so this is really uh, good for the path analysis next uh, you can also uh, check the settlement so I'm going to uh, use the egg axis for some end stage and for the y-axis is the displacement so we check the total displacement and i will turn off the initial pace and pace number one so this is the start of loading and this is the end of the loading so you can check the total displacement of uh, the, the path so uh, this is all for this video you, now you can do the panel analysis like this I hope you get the idea and this is the end of uh, this video so Thank you guys for watching. And if you like uh, you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to check out my other video as well in the Plaxis 3D playlist. So I'll see you guys next week.